while you could make do with an alternative investment fund that we spoke about you may need to consider whether having a purely offshore fund is better for you or whether a combination of an offshore and onshore fund in a master feeder structure or a co-investment structure works best for you and we'll talk about these three structures a pure offshore structure involves setting up a fund vehicle outside india and it pools capital from investors outside india and then the fund invests in portfolio companies directly in india in a pure offshore structure the manager will need to carefully consider what routes of foreign investment are available for that fund vehicle to invest into india there are few issues to think about and consider when structuring an offshore fund jurisdiction is the most important aspect of an offshore fund in addition to considering the double taxation avoidance agreements that india has with the jurisdiction of your choice you will also need to consider whether you have adequate substance in those jurisdictions for offshore fund structures where key investment team members are in india managers will also need to consider whether it leads to the risk of a place of effective management of the offshore fund being in india because that comes with a tax risk to the offshore fund indian managers may want an offshore fund if they want flexibility to invest outside of india because the aif has certain restrictions on investing outside india including regulatory approvals a master feeder structure very simply involves an offshore fund investing into an aif in india which is the master fund which then invests into portfolio companies in india now we've already spoken about benefits of an aif those will continue to apply in a master feeder structure in addition the fund manager has the ability to be able to pool indian capital into the alternative investment fund and that is a very important factor because it allows for a uniform fund structure for investors whether they are overseas or whether they are indian in addition development finance institutions or other offshore investors who have existing large exposures to india directly can offset gains and losses or take advantage of the tax immunities however under the master feeder structure the restriction on overseas investments by an aif will apply and also the management fee which is paid by the fund to the manager will attract goods and services tax which leaves a little bit less for the manager to take home or it puts an additional burden on the investors a co-investment structure is nothing but having an aif and having an offshore fund investing side by side directly into the portfolio company now this structure was popular back in the day when the regulatory regime and the tax regime wasn't favorable towards indian based funds so today if you have two vehicles which are mimicking each other's investments there could be some tax risks to that entire structure which is why it is becoming less favorable that said there may be reasons why you want to have two different pools for example where managers want to treat the two pools of capital differently whether it's in terms of economics or governance the general tone and tenor of the evolution of regulations for private funds seems to be geared towards manage in india quite akin to the make in india push from the government from a few years ago when it comes to considerations for fund structures there is no one size fits all commercial reality should dictate the structure not the other way around 